All right, we're here in Iowa. It is cold as balls out today, and we're gonna be smoking wings and sausages on the new smoke fire grill. It's my first run on it actually cooking. Got it fired up, had it heated up to 500, let it, let it uh, just kind of break it in, and then dropped it down to 300 for the sausage and wings. Nice, easy cook. Got the wings seasoned up with Malcolm Reed's How to Barbecue Right, you know, uh, the barbecue rub, because I'm feeling lazy today, and uh, just see if we can crank out some easy, easy cuts of meat on this new grill as we break it in, work our way up to the big hitters. So um, you probably hear the fan in the background. It's kind of loud. For me, that's probably the biggest surprise so far. I just didn't realize how loud the fans were on these pellet smokers. Uh, I don't know if this is louder than the other ones out there or not, but for me, that's so far, I don't love that because it's constantly on in the background. But um, other than that, it heated up to 500 in this frigid temperature pretty easily. It probably took longer than normal, but it did it. Um, I didn't take the 600 just I figured there was really no reason to do that. And now we're settled down to 300 degrees. We get the food on. So you can hear, it's got like, it's just like an afterburner <laughs> to this thing. It puts out a lot of heat, but I, you know, the fire just glows in there. So you can see the fire kind of glow. I mean, it's pretty much like that most of the time that's burning. So that to me, it's, it was kind of surprised. It's, you know, it's burning pretty hot down there. We got everything on, it's cold, so we're gonna shut this and then we'll check them in 30 minutes. Okay, so I've already made one adjustment. When I put it on at 300, everything, it seems really hot. It seems higher than 300. It's like very sizzling. Uh, and there's a lot, I, you tell like the, uh, the wings were kind of getting maybe a little torched right off the bat. So I'm actually dropping things down to 225. We're just gonna take it slow that way. We don't ruin it. We can always crank it up a little bit if we're not getting the results we want. So we're gonna go 225 on the set thermometer for a while. All right, it's been 45 minutes since I put these on and I gotta say it was initially a real disaster. So the results are generally kind of a disaster at this point. But I think this video is worth posting because the behavior was really odd in the beginning. I put on the wings and the bratwurst and I can tell that it was a little hotter than 300 degrees in my opinion just based on the sound, the sizzling. Um, so I came back and checked him like five minutes later just to see, and one side is completely torched, which I'll show you, and the other side looks completely normal. And I took it down from 300 to 225 to cool it off. It actually showed a temping down from 400, but there's only one temperature probe right in the middle that measures the temperature, which makes sense, but I have no idea why one side would be completely hot as hell, and the other side, uh, Pretty, pretty normal, I'd say. Uh, maybe even less, less than normal. So maybe all the flames were shooting out to one side. Maybe there's a block down below in the in the pellet basket where it cooks, where it you know where it burns the pellets. So um, I thought it'd be good to post this, see if Weber has a response, and also uh, you know I'll give him a call if I don't hear from him eventually. But I'll do be doing some more testing on my own before I'd be throwing a brisket on or something expensive. So. Uh, show you what they look like. I don't think I'll be finishing the cook on air. Just wanted to show you this little bit disaster and see if anybody else has this problem. If you do, definitely comment. I think it's worth like getting it out there if there are some issues, so. Yeah, let's take a look. All right. So I think it's pretty clear to see this is, These are the wings here that just got torched. There's the other side, uh, which was after I flipped it. So it's kind of gone back to normal. But in general, the right side was just got torched and everything else here is normal. It looks like it should. So. Very strange, I'll keep playing with it, but definitely if you have issues like this, 
post them on this thread, you know, in the questions down below and see if we can figure something out. So but I'll keep playing with it and post more videos. And just like to wrap up this, you know, fail, I just want to describe the conditions. I don't think it had anything to do with the wind. It's, there's a breeze back here, but very light. And then it's extremely cold. So I don't know if I could wreak any havoc with like the controller itself and just not, you know, modulating properly. Maybe it's not meant to be in this cold weather, but I did read through the complete instruction book. I didn't find anything about, you know, cold weather smoking. I didn't see any warnings or anything about that. So um, if there is a problem with that, I think we should know about it. Um, other than that, we'll see if, uh, you know, anybody else has issues uh, or if Weber has some, you know, you know, I guess best practices to follow in general, uh, but I haven't really seen anything uh, like this before. So, all right, that's a wrap. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.